A geomagnetic excursion, like a geomagnetic reversal, is a significant change in Earth's magnetic field. Unlike reversals, an excursion is not a permanent reorientation of the large-scale field, but rather represents a dramatic, typically a geologically short-lived change in field intensity with a variation in pole orientation up to 45 degrees from the previous position. Now, according to the mainstream, we haven't had a magnetic excursion for 42,000 years. Many of you know about the mainstream's reporting. And this, well, this is a faux pas because the excursion 42,000 years ago is not the most recent. Now, a paper coming out September 12, 2008, that's 13 years ago, Geomagnetic Excursions, Knowns and Unknowns. We will dive into it. Now, geomagnetic excursions are short-lived episodes of Earth's magnetic field when it deviates into intermediate polarity state. Understanding the origin, frequency, amplitude, and duration and field behavior associated with these excursions is a forefront research area within solid earth geophysics. And recent advances in excursions are summarized in this paper. Now, key further research is suggested to resolve major unanswered questions, including the fact that the mainstream thinks the last one was 42,000 years ago, which couldn't be further from the truth. Now, what we're going to look at tonight is some of the graphics from the research 13 years ago, and it shows the last 2.2 million years and the field intensity on Earth. Now, in the last 2.2 million years, we've experienced over 20 major cosmic catastrophes. And in the interim, multiply that by five. That's 100 cosmic catastrophes over the last 2 million years. Geologically speaking, that's quite recent. And if you come look at the last 100,000 years here, you can see the geomagnetic field go up and down. There's one and up and down, there's two, and up, and down, there's three, and up, and down, there's four geomagnetic excursions in the last 100,000 years. Two of which happened before the 42,000 year event. That's how bad mainstream reporting is. Here's the data set that's 13 years old. Anyone can get it, and I'll link you below. But what you should glean from this is that magnetic excursions happen all the time. The last magnetic reversal was 750,000 years ago. Here, this black dot. That's when they're claiming the last magnetic reversal happened, which is true. It's the last time the polarity flipped completely. But it almost flipped here, and then here, and then here again recently. But it, the polarity shifts every 24,000 years. It might be small, it might be big, but it always happens. Now, let's delve into a little bit more of the nonsense from the mainstream. They're claiming the last magnetic excursion was the excursion that wiped out the Neanderthal. Well, it's the largest one on the graph. So we can't sell them short for that. That's this huge drop down here. That's the one they're saying is the last one. But what about this one? And what about that one? <laughs> what about all the up and downs? Do they matter? Do magnetic excursion lives matter? I think they do. And you're looking at some of the pole positions over the last... Well, let's say 2 million years. And they're all over the place. Like a disgrace. Like the mainstream media is reporting on any facts. <laughs> now this paper coming out 
just two years ago, the role of geomagnetic field intensity in the most recent evolution of humans and large mammals proves the point that we're driving down hard here. The mainstream media could never tell you the truth. Mainstream scientists are not allowed to tell you the truth either because they are funded by the government funders, the money funders, the MFers. And we are never going to get to the bottom of anything in our lifetimes. When we're dead, they'll tell us that we were great scientists. Yes, that will happen. But are we waiting for our card to get into the uh, geologic hall of fame? No, we're here to prepare you, not scare you. And the point of this video is the fact that anyone reporting on magnetic excursions or magnetic reversals that don't know this data set that I'm showing you here is misguided. And if they don't know about the role of geomagnetic excursions in late quaternary evolution of humans and large mammals, well, they're deluded. Because what this paper proves unequivocally is that geomagnetic excursions and the field intensity of our planet Earth. Now, mind you, the field intensity protects us and allows us to live here. So what happens when that wanes? Well, large mammals die off and new species are created. Time immemorial, this is what paleontologists have been seeing in the rock record. They just didn't have the high resolution magnetic anomaly graphs to the right because most of the studies that have been done on invertebrate paleontology in my field of study have been done on foraminifera and other microorganisms that are back in the paleozoic much older than this stuff and we don't have high resolution geomagnetic anomaly intensity graphs to go along with our subsets of, on our strat stratigraphic analysis so but i digress but as a field geologist, I can tell you these same types of situations on a standard periodicity of 25,000 years were happening 400 million years ago during the Silurian. That's based on my experience as a geologist. We've been looking for a mechanism in stratigraphy and sedimentology to prove our point but we've been missing out for the last century. We have not found it. We thought we had the an answer with the Milankovitch theory, but that doesn't, it doesn't hold weight when you look at a graph like this. The magnetic field intensity controls life on Earth. And why wouldn't it? Because the magnetosphere is the only reason there is life on our planet. So when that goes high, we go big. And when that goes low, we go away. Hope you got something out of the video. Little tidbits like this spark little pieces in your brain that reactivate energy, that information that you already knew. Many of you are experiencing this. Kudos to you. I ask you all to share this with like-minded people. Keep an open mind. And be safe. We love you. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. In the dystopian world that you live, where the mainstream media cannot simply research a graph that anyone can figure out how to find in about one minute. And we'll link it below. And I guarantee 50% of the people watching this video don't even know how to go find it. That's the world we're living. And that's a boom to idiocracy. Be safe. We love you, even if you're dumb. We're trying to learn you. Nanu, nanu.